section we will try to see if there uh, we can perform a failover the, because of some reason my system has been rebooting which is an ec2 instance for the failover but i'll, I'll show you what all steps are needed to be done when you have to perform the failover using the wrap mgr so we have already a setup which is in place but there were two things missing that we couldn't uh, do last time so let me show you the status so wrap mgr daemon is still running on my primary and the the standby so this is my primary node which is my master node and uh, uh, let me show you so on the master when i say wrap mgr f uh, location of the configuration file cluster show it will show you uh, the uh, the status the current status of the primary and the standby and if the same command is to be run on the standby it is going to show you the same result and if you wanted to see the uh, current events which has happened in in primary and the dr or the standby you can just execute this and it is going to show you the same result wrap mgr hyphen if uh, hyphen f uh, that wrap mgr.conf cluster event so it is going to show like uh, we have created a cluster primary is registered standby is cloned standby is registered wrap mgr daemon is started wrap mgr daemon is started on the standby as well which is node 2 and uh, there are a lot of things which you can can check other than this and i'll, I'll show you uh, some of the things over here like uh, we can see the cluster status if you oops oh this is this is 13 and it is going to show you we have already seen this see the other thing which we can see it over here you can see it in the uh, csv or compact format so you have both the things available over here then we can see the cluster matrix so these are the different options which are available you can see that uh, the which is the uh, node id okay node 2 inaccessible via as such i need to cross verify so that means uh, we will not be able to do the uh, the reverse uh, what do you say the um, the what do you say uh, failover oh, sorry the switch over uh, it is an ec2 instance and uh, when the instance is rebooted and i do not uh, do not have any any uh, ip which has been attached which is elastic ip and when i report it it is going to go away and okay let me do the cluster cross check so probably the uh, failover will not completely succeed but will let me show you okay so the node 2 is inaccessible via ssh okay that's going to be a problem nevertheless let's let me show you uh, some of the things which we can uh, see it over here so it is wrap mgr uh, wrap mgr.conf cluster event which we have already seen and 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 what else we can see metrics we have already seen let's try to do a dry run we will try to do it from the primary and this command is important before you perform the the actual switchover we'll say uh, wrap mgr standby switchover hyphen f and we will see what messages it is going to show it to us okay let me pick this command from here okay yeah you can see that uh, the the command is wrap mgr standby switch over hyphen f location of configuration file sibling uh, follow a dry run so it is going to check switch over on node uh, in in dry run mode ssh connection to that uh, 
uh, node is succeeded that means from standby to primary it is working it is able to execute wrap mgr on remote node and 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 wall sender requires is one it is 10 available cluster is deprecated and will be ignored that's that's fine demotion candidate is able to make replication connection to the promotion candidate so demotion candidate is someone who is going to be a standby and a promotion is somebody who is going to be promoted from standby to primary replication lag on this standby is zero second that means both are in sync this is our local node and uh, this particular local node uh, it would be demoted to uh, sorry the local node this one 120 which is the other node that will be demoted to the standby and uh, the current node will be promoted to uh, uh, what do you say the uh, the primary so that's what the meaning of uh, uh, switch over let's let me show you the actual uh, switch over command if you see executing so it is going to execute the uh, uh, the uh, actual uh, shutdown command of uh, the primary then it is going to do the switch over and the roles are going to be reversed I need to further check out if there is any SSH uh, issues with this but what you need to check out is uh, after this failover you need to cross check the events if they are working or not but I thought uh, I, I should share like what are the different things that are going to work and when you check if everything is fine you should be able to uh, sometimes it is going to take uh, excessive time so let's let's wait for that to happen but before doing that you should make sure that uh, ssh without password should be working fine so this is going to take its own time and what you need to do is as a prerequisite when you are doing the rap mgr you make sure that ssh without password is is working fine before you execute this command otherwise during the dry run it is going to give you the error and it is not going to work I hope this is the basic setup is going to help and maybe in, in some other demo we will see how to actually perform the uh, the uh, fast uh, mode of uh, failover uh, sorry the switchover